Puck, he's used to having people do what he wants. Oh. And when they don't, then he's used to seeing them very under the bus afterwards. Oh. Like, think about it. When Puff is done with you, he drops you like Black Rob. Not Black Rob. <laughs> Uh, person and now he's in jail. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you didn't already know, act like you know because it's that as us, so let's hop right into this video. So today we are going to be reacting to Kanye West and Wendy Williams have been exposing Diddy for years. The warning signs were there. Before we hop in though, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and without further ado, let's just hop right into this video. Like Puff, he's used to having people do what he wants and when they don't, then he's used to seeing them very under the bus afterwards. You don't just walk away from Puff. Puff Daddy, mm. you. Because you can't shoot you nobody anyway. And the reason why you got talks because you did a deal, you f***ing fed. They can control the bra, Jane. Hey, everybody <laughs> know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. See, it ain't no name. I won't name. I don't care who you are. Y'all can't send none of y'all meat meals, y'all puppies. I Ooh. never killed nobody. That means I can say whatever I want. Oh. He said they don't got nothing. Wendy Williams and Kanye West are some of the only celebrities who have stood up against Diddy and have been warning us about him for years now. Mm. I'm curious to know what they knew about Diddy before he was arrested. Mm. So let's get into it. Let's. We're at a time right now where a lot of celebrities are staying silent when it comes to Diddy, but those who have been outspoken for years are being even more outspoken now because they can safely say, I told you so. And while I don't think we should ever say, I told you so, to crimes like what Diddy have been accused of, but I do think that people like Wendy Williams can get away with it. Even though she did know something, mm -hmm. I don't think she ever knew how bad it was. She did an <clears throat> interview with the Daily Mail, which I'd love to see because after that documentary that came out earlier mm -hmm. this year, I was worried. Wendy said, what's really weird is that I've been told by so many people. Wendy, you called it, she told the outlet, including mm -hmm. some people from my family who have said the same. Here's a throwback clip of Wendy talking a little bit about mm. Diddy. Like Puff, he's used to having people do what he wants. Oh. And when they don't, then he's used to seeing them very under the bus afterwards. Oh. Like, think about it. When Puff is done with you, he drops you like Black Rob. Not Black Rob. <laughs> Who was his rapper uh, person, and now he's in jail. Drops you hard like Aubrey O'Day. What? Oh, my God. I mean, I, I mean think <laughs> about it. You, you don't just walk away from Puff. I'm so sorry. All these people catching strays and whatnot is wild. But it's very, very windy. <laughs> I wish Wendy was around now because we need her reactions. But some people feel like Wendy was put away because of Diddy. This person commented P. Diddy ended her career. Another person writes, she was speaking facts. Finally, this person added, I knew someone did something to her. She knew too much. Another comment reads, I wish the Wendy Williams show was up and running right now. I would love to hear her input on the whole situation oh my God, with it'd Diddy. Be wonderful. Another person added, how much power did he have? This person commented, he silenced her. Which he did in fact silence her because he did have her fired from a radio station at one point, tried to have her blacklisted. He so tried. Diddy's never really liked Wendy. After yeah. seeing the Cassie footage, Wendy was quoted saying that this was horrific. She said, you know how I feel about that? It's about time. To see this video on TV of Cassie getting pulled, it was just horrific. But you have to think, how many more times? How many more people? How many more women? Mm. I question how many are dead. <clears throat> Wendy's feelings for Diddy have been laid bare since she accused the billionaire of single-handedly ruining her career by getting her fired from the popular radio show back in 1998. Mm. It's because Wendy was making claims about Diddy's <laughs> yeah, sexual orientation, she, yeah, which we now know wild. saying that half of the 120 victims that came for our men, that clip is she wild. was on to something, and he didn't want the world to know this, so he tried <clears throat> to get rid of her. There was a music mogul who sent his all-girl group to beat my ass in front of the oh. radio station. Fact. I finished my shift, rounded my headphones, put my bag in the crook of my arm, yeah. and see everybody lined up at the window looking down on the sidewalk. Mm. I'm wrapping up my headphones, and I'm going downstairs, my new boyfriend at the time, the bad Kevin, he was picking me up, I'm walking in the elevator with my intern at the time, Skeletor, and, and, but look, I'm like, why is everybody looking down at the sidewalk? I mean, yeah. noses were pressed to the glass. And I get downstairs and find this girl group jump out of a gypsy cab ah. to come after me to kick my ass. And I'm like, for what? You know what I said was true. You all are broken. You were living in the project. Now, look at where they are now. I mean, Wendy's not necessarily doing that great, but she's I'm better sorry. off than Diddy is, facing a minimum of 15 years in prison, which doesn't seem like that long, especially with more than 100 <laughs> victims coming Wendy. forward. One in 
Witch that was nine years old at the time. In her 2004 <sighs> book, The Wendy Williams Experience, she wrote about a certain level of contempt for Diddy because he tried to ruin her. She mm. wrote, he put me through hell. I'll never forget it, but I don't hate him. Which... Okay, interesting. One of Diddy's bodyguards I mean, reiterated the story that he did, in fact, try to get her fired from Hot 97, saying that Diddy said if they didn't get rid of her before he got back from New York, that he was not going to get any music from any of his friends or the record label executives to the radio station to play. So, essentially, they were going to boycott the station. The bodyguard said we were out in L.A. for about three days before huh. we landed in New York, and Wendy was in the radio station in Philly. It was over for her. She was fired. So these oh. two have quite the history, and there are moments that I've seen online where Diddy was actually with Wendy on her show. Uh -huh. I wonder how it really felt there. If it was intense, if Wendy kind of laughed it off, if uh. she kind of felt something, or if he was there trying to manipulate it all so that he looked decent. Did you guys see this interview between Diddy and Wendy Williams that aired seven years ago? Look mm. at how she reacts when he tells her that he met her son backstage. As the mother of a now 16-year-old. Mm -hmm. Well, I met backstage. Was, it, 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 he did? He's great, great young man. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> you represent a lot to a lot of people in general. I mean, people think that Diddy said this to intimidate her because, I mean, we all know Wendy knew a lot about what was going on in Hollywood. Now, Wendy's not ah! only... You know what? I actually have a different take when it comes to that video. I don't know why, but I didn't feel that way. Like, I didn't think it was a threat, per se. You know what I mean? Or maybe I just wasn't catching the, the cue, okay? But I didn't feel like it was a threat. It was just like, yeah, I met him down backstage. But I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> person who's been outspoken against Diddy, Kanye West, has made some comments himself. In October 2022, Kanye appeared on the Drink Champs podcast where he blasted Diddy. Mm. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these shits. All you fake hard fuck you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, hold on, hold on. Ooh. All you fake hard fuck you. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck because you can't shoot nobody anyway. And the reason why you got to talk is because you did a deal, you fucking fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you gotta come at me, cause part of the deal for you to be a do all that da, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you gonna go pull my co car. Co -car. So y'all can shut the fuck up about Damn, me. Now, let me say it, Carl. <laughs> you shut the fuck up about you shut the fuck up about Michael. Right, right. Michael now. Right. Every Michael you can think of. Mm. Well, mostly Godfather Michael now. No, no. Now, back when Kanye did this interview, not a lot of people paid attention to it because he seems just, uh, you know, a little bit bonkers. But in hindsight, he doesn't seem crazy at all. Mm -hmm. After speaking with Candace Owens, she was left with the impression of, quote, there's something about Kanye West. He has a way with words. Mm -hmm. He gets himself into a lot of trouble. And then when you revisit his words, you start to realize that he was making a lot of sense when you thought he sounded completely crazy. And currently we are in that stage where a lot of what Kanye said years ago is aging like fine wine. Oof. I just want you guys to hear that note and comment below. Do you think Kanye is onto something? Candace also discussed how Diddy being a fed allows him to escape the consequences to his actions, which huh. he's not a fed anymore. He's <laughs> Recall right. that Kanye had listed out a number of celebrities and athletes who were controlled, including basketballer LeBron James. Kanye said, they can't control me. They can control Shaq, Charles Barkley. They could control LeBron James. They can control Jay-Z and Beyonce, but they cannot control him, which he might actually be right there. Oh, I'm so sorry, but it's a little made me laugh so bad. He said, well, he's not a vet anymore. <laughs> Control LeBron James. <laughs> they can control Jay Z and Beyonce. No, no, you, man. But they can't control me. Mm. You see, it ain't no name I won't name. I don't care who you are. I ain't taking no slice from nobody, right? I ain't taking no slice from nobody. It's God. That's the only person that I serve. My mom ain't here. My mama was sacrificed. You know, out in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Feels like it might be a lot of that in order to control, traumatize. They want to monetize and traumatize. <clears throat> Jesus is king. God loved me. You know what I'm saying? It's, and this truth is going to be heard. Y'all can't send none of y'all meat meals, y'all puppies, y'all little boozy, none of these names. None of these people that have to listen to y'all because they're dealing, they have legal. I never killed nobody. But that means I can say whatever I want. Candace Owens is an Oof. interesting person, but she has a good question. Especially for LeBron James, because everyone is speaking out about Diddy, but he's not. And even the people who don't typically speak out, um, they have a comment. But he's someone who typically loves to give a take. He loves mm, to put out a statement. And so quiet. it's interesting to see that he's mm. remaining quiet. Hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 
Not Ain't the kids clapping in the back. Ooh, last words. <laughs> huh? yeah, yeah, LeBron yeah. James and Diddy have reportedly been friends for a while. Diddy was booked on September 16th for a... You guys know all these federal charges. But I want to take us back to Kanye West because he may have called this and it seems like he's been alluding to this for some time. In one of his more recent songs, Carnival, in which he collaborated with Ty Dolla Sign, he placed Diddy in the same category as disgraced celebrities like R. Kelly and Bill Cosby. Mm. Again, this is before Diddy was arrested. He raps, now I'm E. Kelly, bit. Now I'm Bill Cosby, bit. Now I'm Puff Daddy Rich. That's me too, Rich. Mm. The cryptic reference to Diddy once known as Puff Daddy has led to speculation whether Kanye was subtly hinting to Diddy's alleged involvement in criminal activity. Kind of like, you know, Harvey Weinstein was involved. Mm. So you know how Diddy had like this 15 foot bed at his house? This one right here, 15 foot bed. You know mm. what it reminds me of? And I feel like this artist has been trying to warn us about all this forever. Specifically about this man and about the PDF file mm. industry. But you know what this reminds me of? What? Remember the Kanye West famous music video? This offensive, disturbing video of all these celebrities from Donald Trump to Caitlyn Jenner to Kim Kardashian to Amber Rose to uh -huh. um, Ray J to Bill Cosby to Taylor Swift all laying in this bed. Does anyone else remember this music video? I've never seen... Ooh, <sighs> looks a lot like this. Looks oh. a lot like that. Oh! <laughs> now, Kanye and Diddy's relationship has been rocky video. in well, recent years. I didn't watch a it. resurfaced text exchange between the two music moguls dating back two years shows an explosive argument over Kanye's controversial White Lives Matter t shirt. Oh, mm -hmm. God. According to the text, Diddy offered to meet in person <clears throat> to hash out their differences. He said, As soon as I land, we'll meet face to face. Send me an address. In which Kanye replied, F you. Kanye mm -hmm. went on to say, I didn't like our convo. I'm selling these teas. Nobody gets in between me and my money. Kanye then made a Odd reference to his grandfather saying, this is my grandfather texting you now. Never call me with no BT like that again unless you're ready to green like me. Why would he reference his grandfather? Like, is he being possessed by his grandfather? I don't get it. Comment below. He wrote, because uh, nobody stop. who got on that tee is me. Out of respect for everything you've meant to me, I'll be quiet as Virgil. But now I know how I've hurt people. I love it with threats. Um, come do something illegal to me now, please. Interesting, he says, oh. come do something illegal to me <clears throat> now. Did he try to con Kanye by saying, I'm just trying to talk to you as a black man and I'm talking to you because this is hurting our people. Stop. But Kanye did not budge saying anything you text I will post. I love you and you guys are breaking my heart. I accept your apology in advance. In a final exchange, did he reiterated his desire to handle the matter directly <laughs> saying, let's stop playing these internet games and don't feel threatened. You'll be fine. Just love. Interesting. You'll be fine. Hmm. hmm. Maybe he knows about Tupac and Notorious uh, B.I.G. He knows what Diddy did to them. Who the knows? tense back and forth highlights the long standing friction between the two, adding yet another layer of intrigue to their complex relationship. But lately, it seems like Kanye has some other issues he needs to deal with, like mm. paying a security guard who has not been paid yet. I hate when people do not pay their employees. Kanye is being sued mm. by a man named Jonathan Monroe. No connection to Marilyn. I'm just kidding. I, I don't know that, but I'm assuming no. He claims Kanye hired so him as a full-time security guard back in August 2021 and promised him $30 an hour to protect his Malibu home. According to the lawsuit, Jonathan claims that he worked 36 to 50 hours a week until he was fired in October without being paid any of his wages. Oh, that's he the entire He claims he was only home. fired because he was complaining about not being paid. So then they solve the problem by just firing him. It's been three years since Kanye has fired him and he has yet to see a single dime for um. the hours he logged. As it's been reported, Kanye recently sold a Malibu property for $21 million after trying to turn it into a bomb shelter. Then he oh. got bored with the project and bailed on it. Have you ever found yourself wondering what it's like to work for a celebrity only to be left unpaid? Uh, I'm gonna stop the video right there because I feel like we got to the we got to the meat of the problem in you know this video. So wow, this was a lot, but I've been knew that Wendy has been you know hinting. Honestly, she doesn't hint; she goes straight for it. She's very like a what's it called? She's straight no chaser. Okay. <laughs> So very forward um, and she does not back down so I'm just I'm not surprised about her comments and then Kanye West I'm not surprised by his own comments I mean he was literally in the same circles as this person so of course he would know some sort of tea but I don't know in terms of like for other celebrities I don't know what that means for other celebrities like you will only know when it all comes out so um, yeah it's just it's just really interesting seeing everything 
literally age like fine wine <laughs> but yeah let me know what you guys thought about this video down below don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one bye